and here on Olympics tonight. We'll be on air every night until midnight, bringing you some of the sport as it continues and a review of all the day's big stories. Each night, we're going to be joined by some of our medalists from Team GB as they celebrate success and some of the greatest names in sport. And kicking off tonight, it's a real pleasure to be in the company of these three sporting icons. This was the hole, this was the gaping hole on his CV. Yeah. I, you know, I, I feel for him, but I think that uh, watching the... Employed by the whole race, to, the, the, the race against Team GB, and that's what happens, I guess, when your reputation is that you are the team to beat every one of the iconic Olympic sports that's produced suitably iconic champions. And Phelps admittedly hadn't trained that hard for... Mm two or three years, so that's a total. As, as John said, you know, he's, he said that his training wasn't quite what it should have been. But I'll show that Lockte. I didn't really get that mm. sense from him. Mm -hmm. So I Now, and here in London, the British team assembled its strongest ever lineup to compete in Olympics. So hopes of home success are high. Today, the men's team were in action, as not only were they aiming to qualify for the team final, but also for the individual apparatus finals as well. Matt Baker has the story. So no medals so far, uh, but don't worry. We didn't get any medals on the first day in Beijing either, and that ended up being a record haul. Well, there were rumours that Eric was in town as coach of the Equatorial Royal Guinea swimming team, but we've discovered uh, they don't have any swimmers entered, so Eric obviously failed to ignite a swimming revolution there. Uh, Coach Eel sadly uh, won't be around, but he inspired for us, uh, we think, uh, one of the greatest underdogs. So uh, here's the first of this. Darlene, uh, here in London, Britain has 10 boxes in action, with women making history entering the Olympic competition for the very first time. They begin on day nine, so until then, we're going to focus our attentions on the seven men who will all be aiming to be king of the ring. So cue the cliché. 